want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Will Smith saying that there was no cheating within his marriage. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Will Smith in an interview told a reporter that there was no infidelity in his marriage. But we all know from what we saw with his wife, Jada Pekin Smith and August Alcina, that there was some infidelity in this marriage. We also know about her relationship with Mark Anthony, and we also know about her spiritual relationship with Tupac Shakur. You have seen her on many occasions talk about Tupac, even reading his poems like she have read them over and over again, maybe a thousand times. But Will Smith comes out in, into the public and humiliates himself once again by trying to say that his wife never cheated on him. I know Will Smith is embarrassed. He's humiliated as a man because everybody knows what she has done and what she has been doing in the past. There is no way you can sl uh, sweep this garbage under the table. This is what she has done. She has taken one of the great actors of our time, one of the most accomplished actors, a man who this year is getting rewards for the Venus and Serena Williams. He gets humiliated by a transgender, or you can call her a transformer, Laverne Cox, basically saying, there should be no entanglements. But we all know that there was an entanglement because August Alcina made a song called Entanglements in which he thoroughly once again humiliated Will Smith in front of the world. A man of his stature should not be embarrassed like this in the public. But his wife seems to have very little or no respect for him. And she didn't have very any respect for him when she married him because Will was not the man that she truly wanted. Will was her backup plan and a very successful backup plan. Will gave her the lifestyle and the comfort that she always wanted, but that was not the man that she truly loved and the man that truly turned her on. See, the man that truly turned her on was Tupac Shakur. And when she seen this young stallion, August Exenia, with all the tattoos and everything on his body, that gave her a reminder of what she liked in Tupac Shakur. And one thing young men should learn from this situation. A woman's history is extremely important. A woman will tell you what type of man she likes. If you study her history and see the men she has dated, if the man is the exact opposite of who you are, she's not into you. And she really wasn't into Will Smith. But his career was skyrocketing after Independence Day in so many noteworthy movies that she said, I better hook on to this train because this train is flying down the tracks. And she did it. And she did it successfully. But Will was not truly the man she wanted. Will wanted her, but she really didn't want him. And she has shown it by the way she has embarrassed him on that Red Table talk show. The way she has brought this man in front of the public and embarrassed him. A man who's 50 years old, who should be celebrating his career, which is at Zenith. He is now explaining 
take away that his wife and him never had infidelity in their marriage. And everybody knows what was going on. This man should not be doing this. If I was Will Smith, I would have never said anything because the more you say, the more questions and the more answers that you have to say. You can't clean this up, Will. You can't clean this up. Your wife is who she is. And people don't want to say it, but she's a thought. She for the streets. And she has shown that in interviews. She has talked reckless about your relationship, your intimacy, and if she even enjoys being with you. The worst thing you can be as a man is a backup plan. Not the man that she was really into. And at a certain point, when you find yourself as a backup, and she truly doesn't like you, that's one of the hardest things to have to deal with. See, Will thought he won the prize, but he didn't. There were plenty of women out there who would have been into Will, but Will wanted Jada, but Jada really didn't want Will. She wanted Will for his money, his success, his prestige, his adulation. But when it was all over with, and it's not over with, Will was possibly not going to leave her. Because you know that old song is cheaper to keep her. That's what his lawyers is telling him. Because no matter what she has done, she has been with him over 25 years. So what does that mean? She will get half of all his earnings. And Will knows that. See, when in the darkest recesses of Will's mind, he knows who Jada Hill really is, but he knows that Jayla really, really deep down don't love him. And we're talking about that deep love. Someone, when the first time you met him, or someone, when you dated him for a while, you said, this is the one. She didn't say that with Will. What she said is that, hey, this is my 401k. This is my retirement plan. This is the man who can provide for me. But this is not the man I truly love. And you can see it when she talks about Will. This is sad as fuck to see, to look at this going on. But this is the situation, and the cars will has been dealt. But these are the cars that he selected. When he had a chance to find any woman in Hollywood, outside of Hollywood, any beautiful woman, I thought his first wife was stunning. And I believe he left her for Jada, and that may have been truly a huge mistake. It took him 25 years to find out. Now the chickens have come home to roost, and Will has to deal with Jada for the rest of his life. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also, Share this video.